As you can see on the screen, I am earning profits with three different trades on OKX. Here is a profit, profit and profit. I have opened these trades in my previous OKX videos, so you have seen everything transparently. And in this video, I will show you here step by step how to trade futures on OKX. First step for making money on OKX is to create the 100% free account. And I will leave you a link in the description below the video where you can join OKX and get up to $10,000 worth of bonuses. After clicking the link below the video or in the pinned comment, you will land on OKX registration page where it says unlock mystery boxes and win up to ten thousand dollars you can create your free account using your email address or phone number or telegram account or google account all methods are free and as you can see here okx works worldwide in all around the world once you are inside OKX, you will find futures trading here on the trade section and here derivatives and margin trading. You will see here futures and then also perpetual swaps. When we click one of these, it will open for you this trading view and here you will see all kinds of different options. I will show you in a moment in a great detail what all of these numbers work. But first you probably want to know what is futures trading. In a nutshell, it's trading with leverage. For example, if you would normally earn $100, but you are using 10x leverage, you earn now $1,000 real money. But the same also works the other way around. If you would normally lose 20%, but you are using 5x leverage, you lose 100%, so the whole position. With futures trading, everything is amplified. You earn money faster, but you can also lose money faster, so the risks are higher than with the basic spot trading. On OKX, you find two types of futures trading here on the futures section or if you go here to trade there is this futures and then there are perpetuals the difference is that these futures they have a delivery date you can see for example weekly quarterly by quarterly so on and so forth and perpetual futures don't have a delivery date so you can keep these trades basically open as long as you want even for many many months because this is a tutorial for beginners i want to give you a couple of beginner tips first of all start with spot trading right here if you are a beginner don't immediately jump into futures trading and second once you start doing the futures trading only do it with a small part of your portfolio my advice is maximum 5% of your portfolio. For example, if you have $1,000 in Bitcoin, you use maximum $50 for futures trading. If you have $10,000 in Bitcoin, you use $500 for futures trading. If you have $100,000 in Bitcoin, you use maximum $5,000 for futures trading. Those are just rough guidelines, but of course, everybody has a freedom to choose. I recommend that you only trade futures with the money that you are willing to lose. In the same way, I recommend that you only hold money in government currencies like US dollar, euro, Indian rupee, what you are willing to lose completely. Because you know that US dollar, for example, has lost more than 98% of its value in the last 7-8 years, and even more if we take a longer time frame. So almost all the money that you hold in government currencies, you lose comparing to Bitcoin. Now, all that being said, I will start showing you how to read these charts, and I will provide you a couple of futures trading strategies. First of all, you can choose your trading pairs here on the left hand side. You can see here on OKX, like on most other platforms, BTC and USDT is the most traded trading pair. Then there are also other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, so on and so forth. You can trade whatever you want. If you want to change the trading pair, you simply click this one. You can see it changes the trading pair immediately. So it's really easy to use platform. And of course, you can use the search bar here. Uh, if you want to find, for example, BTC trading pairs, you find here BTC USDT, BTC USDC, and also other ones. And you also see the trading volume, right? here the bigger the number is the bigger the trading pair and here you can choose also specific perpetuals and also futures trading pairs so this is how it works once we move from the left to the center you will see here the candlestick charts and each candle represents a certain time frame and you can choose the time frame right here for example if you choose here one hour each of these candle represents one hour green candle means that during that one hour the price of BTC 
has gone higher. And if the candle is red, it means that the price of BTC has gone down during that hour. And you can see the hour here on the bottom. Or you can choose here, for example, one day. And now you can see that each of these candles represents one day. Here on OKX, you can find also all types of trading tools by clicking this one right here. And here it opens for you on the left hand side, all these tools where you can draw the charts and do all types of analysis. But we will not dive into all the details of these tools because it would take multiple hours to go through all of them next here on the center you will be able to open and close orders and the first thing you want to do when you want to start trading is to transfer some money from your OKX funding account to your trading account you can do it easily by clicking this button right here let me show you what happens it opens for you this view and if you want to transfer USDT from funding the trading account you click here how much you want to transfer then you click this one right here and you can see that the transfer has been successfully done i just transferred to few usdt right here one of the most important things is of course the leverage that you can choose right here okx provides leverage all the way up to 125x but that's of course completely crazy you probably never want to use so high leverage unless you are just doing some coin flips a more reasonable leverage is for example 5x 3x or 10x if you will want the high leverage but I don't recommend higher than 5x especially for beginners here you can also choose between cross margin and isolated margin if you choose cross you can use all of your cryptocurrencies as a collateral that are on your trading account and if you choose isolated each trading pair will have a separate collateral both of them have different benefits you can see here that there are a couple of different ways to open orders limit orders market orders and then also other types i think 99 percent of you are going to use either limit orders or market orders the benefit of market orders is that it executes immediately the benefit of limit order is that sometimes you may pay a lower fee if your order goes to the order book and then it gets picked up from there and of course you can also buy bitcoin at a specific price at the moment when i'm recording this video bitcoin is around uh, 30.7 thousand so let's say you want to open an order when the bitcoin price dips a little bit so it goes a little bit bit lower you could set up here 30,000 and then you can choose here the amount and then you could click here long BTC and when you have done that it will show up here on the open orders as long as Bitcoin drops to 30,000 and then it will open the order and of course the same applies for any prices these are just examples for example if you want to short Bitcoin that I don't usually recommend because Bitcoin is the strongest form of money on planet earth but let's say that when Bitcoin goes to 31,000 so a little bit higher then you would want to click here short so when bitcoin goes higher then it will open your bitcoin short order and if you are wondering what is the difference between long and short long means that you are expecting price of an asset to go higher so if you are longing bitcoin you earn profits when it goes higher if you short bitcoin you earn profits when the price of btc goes lower so you can earn profits in all types of market situations here on the right hand side you will see an order book and this will show you the prices that people are willing to buy and sell for and then here you will see the last trades on the right and you can see every single second multiple people are trading on OKX because it's one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the whole universe next I will show you the details about open positions and how you will see once you start earning profits but if you are enjoying this video so far remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and share this with all of your friends who are interested in trading and earning money online so your friends can start receiving money as well once you have opened either long or short positions, you will see them here on the open positions. And here you can see the positions that I have taken in my previous videos, as you may have seen on my playlist, Earn Money on OKX. All of them are currently on profits. They are relatively small trades. Just to show you some real life examples, for example, this is 13 USDT in profits. This one is around $119 on profits, but all of them are on profits. First, when we come to the left hand side, you will see the entry price right here. here here you will see the market price and also your margins so how much collateral you have on your trade here you will see the estimated liquidation price if the asset would reach its price you would get liquidated so you would lose your whole position and here you can see your profits or losses and also profits and losses percentage so this trade has been gone pretty 
Well, this is a long order, so I'm longing Bitcoin between BTC and USDT. The next example here is a short order. So we are shorting Dogecoin. We are expecting the price of Dogecoin to go lower. And that's exactly what it has done. You can see here the entry price was this one, around 7, 8 cents. And now the market price is six and a half cents. So the price of Dogecoin has gone lower. And that's why I have been earning some profits with this. Again, this is just a small trade uh, with around 13 USD profit to show you real life examples and here is also BTC USD perpetual the difference between this one and this one is that here in this order I'm using USDT as a collateral and in this one I'm using BTC Bitcoin as a collateral so you can choose whether you want to use USDT or Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies as collateral for your trades most people usually use USDT for futures trading and OKX also has the best liquidity for USDT what kind of strategies should you try when you do futures trading in a nutshell you want to long strong money that is going up in value and you short weak money that is going down in value. For example, here with this order, I'm longing Bitcoin and I'm shorting USDT indirectly because BTC is going higher in value. You know that it's gone all the way from 0.1 to $1, $10, $100, $1,000, 10000 going towards hundreds of thousands, millions and tens of millions of dollars. And in the same way, USD and USDT are going lower. You can see that they have been completely collapsing against Bitcoin and they are going closer and closer to zero so that's why we are longing strong money which is bitcoin and shorting weak money which is usdt and here is another example we are shorting weak currency which is dogecoin and you can see it has been good so far but keep in mind if you want to short dogecoin or other weak currencies like shiba inu for example or some cryptocurrencies that even though they are very weak and they are going towards zero against bitcoin us dollar may be even weaker than Dogecoin or Shiba Inu. And that's why there are always certain risks if you are using USDT as a trading pair with these weak currencies because both of them are generally losing value in the long term if we compare to Bitcoin. Another thing that you must consider is that Dogecoin and other joke currencies may pump and dump momentarily. So if you are using leverage and let's say you are shorting Dogecoin and they may create a massive pump, you may get liquid so you may even lose your position if those big those coin holders decide to create a pump and dump that's why using high leverage is extremely risky with these types of currencies as you have seen here with leverage you can make a lot of money fast but you can also lose your positions fast if you don't know what you are doing that's why i recommend that only trade futures with the money that you can afford to lose if you want to make money with products on okx that have a lower risk i recommend that you also check out okx spot trading and also okx earn where you will get money automatically every single day and also OKX trading bots you can see here I have bots open and I'm also earning profits with both of these bots right here you will see how to make money using all of these methods on my playlist earn money on OKX so I invite you to take your finger click right here and you will see immediately how to earn money on OKX